For most people, ChatGPT is the go-to artificial intelligence for anything that they're doing because it was the first AI that most of us were introduced to. But more and more, I find myself using Claude not because it's smarter than ChatGPT, but because of the different tools and features that they're giving users to be more creative and build things easier with AI. And it feels more like a workspace rather than just having a chat with a chatbot which is what I feel like dominates most experiences with online artificial intelligences. So in this video, I wanna talk about the features that Claude has been implementing that is quickly making them become my go-to AI platform whenever I'm ready to do some deep work. One of the benefits of Claude over ChatGPT is connectors. Now, ChatGPT does have connectors, but you can see right here that the list of connectors is so much greater than those that ChatGPT has. You can connect your cloud account, not just to Canva, which you could do on ChatGPT, but also Asana, NVIDIA, Notion, PayPal, Stripe, and so many others. And two of these connectors in particular are gonna make a lot of ChatGPT users start using Claude more because for most iPhone users, ChatGPT has always been the application that kind of integrates with the iPhone ecosystem the best. But that all changes today because now you can read and send iMessages with Claude and you can read, write, and manage notes inside Apple Notes with Claude. Now, if you want to install this desktop extension first and foremost you need to download the desktop app and so now we're inside of the desktop app and they also have this control your mac extension where i can get claude to write apple scripts to automate tasks on mac os they even have a google chrome apple script that you can use to manage your tabs navigate page content reading and browser automation but in addition to all of these wonderful connectors that we get for the web and also for the desktop extension. One of the things that Claude is doing to actually stand out and get ahead of ChatGPT is artifacts. Now, artifacts is something that I am very late to the game on, but artifacts are essentially, if we go over here, they're documents, they're things that you created. And I can't tell you how many times that I've created something inside of ChatGPT, and all I could think of is, man, I, I wish I I could save that without having to copy and paste it. I wish there was like this place where all of the things that I created were stored like a library. And that's exactly what Claude gives you. So, and it's automatic. You don't have to say, hey, create a saved document or create something that captures this idea. It creates it automatically. And so artifacts are essentially your creations. They're the culmination of your work. And so artifacts for me are so important because they create these checkpoints in the conversation that help you move forward and create progress because many times I feel as though with ChatGPT and other chatbots that it's just that you're chatting, it's backwards and forwards, but you're never really making any progress or getting anywhere. Whereas with Claude and the artifacts, periodically you're going to see the culmination of your work. You're going to see an artifact get created. And so now what Claude has done is that they have started this new feature where you're able to create AI powered artifacts. So you can create apps, prototypes and interactive documents that use Claude inside the artifact. Start by saying, let's build an AI app to access the power of Claude API. And so now we're gonna say, let's build an AI app because we wanna access the power of the Claude API. And so basically it's asking us a bunch of information. Like I'd be happy to help you build an app. What kind of AI application do you have in mind? Are you thinking about, it gives us a couple of examples, right? And so we're just gonna freestyle this. I wanna build an app that replaces the book by uh, Tiago Forte, Building a Second Brain, and basically create a second brain system powered by Claude AI. And you see that it's building out the app using the React code language. And we're just gonna wait and see what it builds. And so just like that, I have my second brain where I can create projects, areas, resources, archive, insights, and all. But anything that you can think of 
as an idea, you can give it to Claude and Claude will actually create the program, the software, the app for it and power it with its own intelligence. So it's very capable of creating AI apps for whatever workflow that you have. Now, that's not even the best part about it. In addition to all of this, which is absolutely wonderful because I've been having so much fun creating my own different tools and platforms to help me with content creation and my own specific workflows. But if you publish this, anyone on the internet can access this as long as they have the link, but the chat will remain private. And so all I have to do is publish it and copy the link. So if you want it, you could create your own custom AI apps that are powered by Claw inside of Claw, and then you can share that link with other people. So whereas ChatGPT has the custom GPT store, these artifacts give creators and builders a lot more flexibility for what they can actually build and what they can actually share with other people to help them get the same results that a person might get with a custom GPT, if that makes sense. So it's features like artifacts, the ability to power these artifacts by AI, the ability to share these artifacts, and so much more that's going on with Claw, the projects, and everything else that you're able to do with this platform, the connectors. It's just so much they're doing to make it more of an AI operating system that allows you to just sit down and get everything done in this workspace. And so this update, the updates of the artifacts, the ability to share them, and just the overall experience with Claw. It's just pulling me more and more over to that side, even though for now, I still see ChatGPT as the number one platform in my personal workflow. But that could change in the future if Claude keeps evolving like this and ChatGPT fails to offer any new significant upgrades to the experience. But if you got value out of the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, take care, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.